Hello and welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to show you how to create this um, nice eyebrow dormer. Uh, that's what it looks like from the front. I'm just going to shift middle mouse button. You can see that's what it looks like from the back side. I've done a little bit of setup and I'm going to show you that here. Um, if you go to the level 2, which is where the roof is, we've got this roof which is at a 912 slope, the main roof. I've got some reference planes, 8 foot and you can see these uh, reference planes here that I've added in and the dimensions. I've also changed my view range on here. If you go to view range, you'll see that on this level too, I've changed my view range to have a 30 foot top and a 30 foot cut plane. So you can do that yourself as well. Uh, um, also on the south elevation, I've got a reference plane up top here at about seven feet. Okay, so that's all the really the setup that I've done. And I'm gonna start by just clicking on this in place family, delete that, grab this little vertical opening and delete that and then I'm even just going to delete this window as well. Okay, We're going to start this all from the level 2 and it's an in place family. This is just a piece of entourage below there. Okay, So we'll start by saying on the home tab we say component in place family model in place and inside of here it's critical that we say it is a roof category so it talks to this roof and the other walls as far as attachments and stuff go so we hit OK it's gonna ask us for a name and inside of here we're just gonna call this you know eyebrow and we hit OK now we're in the in, in place family editor and I'm going to create this with a blend if you click on here and you go to blend and hover you'll get an extended tip here on what a blend is okay so we do blend two profiles blending together so I start my blend tool and I create now the first thing I have to do and I'm doing this from my level 2 is go back to home because there's no way of setting the work plane on the tab that I'm in I have to go back to home and say set my work plane and I'm going to say pick a plane and hit OK. It's important we pick the front face of where that kind of fascia board is. So I'm going to hover over here and, and you have to be careful because if you pick the sloping plane you're not going to get the right plane and, and you don't want the grid line either although you could use the grid line. I'm going to hover over here and I'm going to tab and then you can, you'll can you see down here. Okay, there. And then tab and then pick and it will automatically bump you in and force you to pick an elevation. If you don't get this option then you've picked the wrong plane. So we say OK, open the view. So now I'm in the front view and I can start to model in that front part of the eyebrow. So I go back to this tab and I say OK, arc, start, end, radius. I'm going to hover over here, snap to that point, snap to this point, go up and say 8 feet, enter, escape, escape. Now I've also noticed that it's easier and it works better if this is created in halves, sketch lines. Pick on here, pull that guy back to that point. Then I'm going to do another arc from here. I'm going to go over by a foot and a half and then click. And then it's going to snap to that tangent point, escape, escape. Now I zoom in, pick on this guy, drag this guy back and snap now I'm I want to make sure I get that to the midpoint so I'm just gonna make a reference plane here just in case back to home reference plane pick on here drag this escape escape now I can be sure that when I drag this guy back it's gonna snap exactly to the right point escape escape I can take this guy and delete it now okay so now I'm gonna grab these guys and I'm going to mirror them so I'm gonna pick them all I'm gonna go back to here first and then say mirror and I'm going to use the axis mirror and pick and mirror that over to there okay now I'm going to take all of these guys and I'm going to move them up so I'm going to pick them all I'm going to say move from here up to there escape escape and I can do a measurement and I can measure from here to here and it's 11 and a quarter inches so now I can say offset by 11 and a quarter Okay, and then I'm going to hover and get this guy right. Pick, 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 pick. And now I'm just going to draw separate lines from here to here, escape, from here to here, escape. Zoom out. Now I'm ready to model the um, back plane, or I should say the top profile. Okay, now it's important now the steps that I do, you follow these critically. I'm going to say um, edit the top to start with. Boom. Closes off the front 
part of the profile and now I'm going to edit the top but I need to go here to level 2 view okay then I need to go back to home I need to say set my new work plane for that top profile and I'm gonna say pick a plane hit OK pick this back reference plane that's 8 feet back click and it's going to ask me again to switch to a perpendicular view south elevation perfect hit open the view and now I open that view now I can model that back um, um, profile so I can say okay well I'm going to go back to this tab we're doing a little bit of back and forth between home and here so I'm gonna say use the pick option so I get the same radius and just pick this guy okay escape escape now I can take this guy and I can just say you know move from here up to there escape escape pick on here and drag that back to there escape now I can say offset the same 11 and a quarter pick escape escape on the keyboard lots of escapes pick a point okay and go from there to there escape escape okay you can click the modify tool here as well instead of hitting escape escape now I'm gonna grab these guys and same tool mirror axis pick on here and I can say mirror that across there escape escape again now it's important watch if I go to my 3d view and you should do this um, you'll notice that this guy's being created back there and this guy's being created up here because they're on their correct reference planes okay back to my south elevation and I can say okay finish the blend right and then finish the model click and out and there's the first part of my um, eyebrow done but I've noticed from experience that this height wasn't enough and it doesn't get pushed back far enough watch if you go to your east elevation you'll see that and I'm gonna pick on this skylight and say hide the category just so it gets rid of that you'll notice that it didn't quite reach far enough back here because it was touching on here so you can work out this geometry yourself but I'm going to click on this guy because it's a blend I can just pick on this and pull it up to there Okay, it's that easy okay you can do SD on the keyboard if you want to see that back to my 3d view and we've got the first part of our eyebrow um, dormer created and we'll come back in our next part two of our eyebrow dormer lesson and we'll create the opening in the roof and we'll also um, use some line work to create some of these extra lines and we might have to do a little bit of tweaking with that to uh, to finish it up and then add in our window.